I, this week I want to start a new series of Shirem, be a short series about the dreams of Daniel, and especially Parag Zion, the Sefer Daniel, where Daniel reveals some very, very deep ideas. Of course, we can only understand as much as we understand, and as my teachers have taught me, my Rebbeim, the Gedoli of Dor have taught me, that today we understand very little. But Baruch Hashem, I consider myself to be a Talmud of the Vilna Goin. And the Vilna Goin opens up a lot, a lot of understanding in this complicated Parak Zion, say for Daniel, where a lot of the secrets about Bias Mashiach are revealed. Before I start with Sefer Daniel, I need to make an introduction, which is based on a Balaturim, which is really based on a Medrash, the um, Medrash and Bereshus Rabbah, it's Parsha Samach Beis, Simen Hay, talks about Elu Shnei Chai Yishmael, Ma Kroya Kosev Liyaches Shana Shel Rasha, why does the Torah spend time talking about Yishmael's lineage and his uh, and his life? Right? So, um, this Medrash gives gives an answer. And concludes, Kiman Shemes of Avram Vino, Nuffel, Ajlo Pashi Yada Vabesi Migdash Yishka, Kiman Shapashi Bo Yada Nuffel, or Ze Yishka, a blessed love of Nuffel. Once Ishmael was Poshit Yad, once they took the base of Migdash, then they lost their schus, as they were. They had a very special chuschus that they were goyim al chesed to yeah. Avram Avinu. But once they were poshed yad in the base of Mikdash, which is right over here and behind it is, the, is their temple, as it were, which is on top of the Makkah of Mikdash. Once they were poshed yad in the base of Mikdash, then that called, uh, caused their nephilia. The Medrash says, but always the Yishkon, have a lesson love enough. That's what the Medrash says. The... Um, the Balaturim, at the end of the Balaturim, is at the end of uh, Parshas Chai Sara, and you have told us. The Torah there has a smichus. The Torah writes that uh, end of Chai Sara says, Al Pnei Kol Achiv Nafal. It says, Al Pnei Kol Achiv Nafal at the end of Parshas Chai Sara. And at the beginning of um, at the beginning of Parshas told us, Eli told us, uh, Eli told us um, from Eli told us Yitzchak, Eli told us Yitzchak, and the Balaturim tells us over there. This paragraph, hey, pasuk Yud Ches, Loi Melacha Kishiyibul Yishmal Ba'achas Hayamim Az Yitzmach Ben David. Shmi told us Yitzchak. That when Yishmoel falls at the Achras Yamim, then this will sprout out the Zera of Yitzchak and Mashiach. Right? And the um, Kadmonim tell us that, as we're going to see, the Parag Zion of Daniel tells us about the four Goliaths and his dreams. Let's speak out four animals, four very. Um, terrifying animals that Daniel saw in his dream. And we'll go through these animals and the explanation of the dream. But amongst all these animals, there, amongst all the four Goliaths, there's another Gullus, Koilo in all these other Goliaths, which is Gullus Yishmoel. And we're simultaneously going through the final Gullus of Adam and also, at the same time, the Gullus of Yishmoel. And the interaction of these two Goliaths, the interplay and the interaction, this is causing a tremendous upheaval in the world today. On the one hand, Adam has a very open philosophy. Anything goes. Preachers. Other Taivas. Shmuel. Penei Shmuel, they're coming out against, they come out against that, but their parts in other areas, right? The clash of these two cultures, which the Chidot tells us, right? That Edom is compared to a Chazer, a pig, and they're on the side small, they're compared to a Chazer, 
because the Chazer holds out his paws and says, look, I have some money kashras. I have some money kashras. Split hooks. Yeah. They're the Sad Smol, right? And they're not Maligera. On the other hand, um, Yishmoel is on the Amin. They came from Avram Avinu, it was Chesed. They're the Amin. Right? They are Maligera. They have a certain Koyach they got from Avram. But they're not Mali par- Parsa. They have a... Um, they have a uh, one psul. Shmuel is one psul. Adam has a different psul. And these two world powers are, are shedding tremendous influence on the world today and influence on Kala Yisrael. And the key to Mashiach coming is going to be overcoming these two influences. If we're able to strengthen ourselves in the darkness of the Gullahs and to overcome Adam, who is like a Chazer, and Yishmoel, who is um, has his own issues, yeah, then we'll be zayche to the gul of a karavest b'zav Hashem. But we have to work very, very hard now. It's true, Chazal tells us Moshe Shmita and David Boy. It's true, Chazal tells us Medrash says when you see war going on in the world, that's the the call of Mashiach. It's true that the Vilna Gaon said that when the Russians enter Crimea, it's the bells of Mashiach. And when they go into Istanbul, put on your Yanta clothing. And who knows if that has happened, it will happen. All the signs are here. You look at the Medrash, at the, the Mishnah, at the end of Sota. Every single sign of Mashiach coming has happened. Except for one. We have to believe that there is no power in the world other than Hashem. And we can't just recognize that, but that has to lead us to a change in our lifestyle. Every single aspect of our life that's been influenced by the culture of Edom, the openness of Edom, and the influence of Ishmael, we have to change that, and we have to um, we have to redefine our whole outlook on life, and the way we approach life, and what we do with our lives, and how we live our lives, and how we do chesed, and how we learn Torah, and how we daven. We've been influenced by the nations around us, especially the cultures of Ishmael, the Arab culture, and the culture of Adam. These two world philosophies have seeped their way into our lives. And we have to understand, Mashiach will not come until we extricate ourselves from this until we pull ourselves away from their influence. This is going to be the key. And the Vilna Gom, which is found in Mishlei, Yud Beis Yud Gimel, Parag 12, Pasuk 13, reveals some very, very deep ideas about how the process of Mashiach will come. But first, before we can understand what Vilna Gom says, we have to learn very well the seventh Parag of Daniel, which is rather Shem we will be doing in the upcoming days. Hashem should help us and give us tremendous yad and shmaya. Amen, Cain Rotsam.